It's a zip front, and we have very few of those. Um, all done in different styles and stitches with this great, great color. And you can even have the scoop neck that'll go all the way up. So if you want a little extra coverage on your face if it's super, super cold. And easy on and off. That's what we love about our zip. Barry Cullen is with us, and he has been for most of the show. Uh, third generation. Look at this purple color. What are we calling this? Violet? It's beautiful. Wow, if there's a purple ladies out there, this is the only one in the show that we have in a color as just stunning and deep and saturated as this violet. And here's what I'm talking about. If you want to go all the way up with this, you can. How great does that look? I like the scoop color. It's, 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 it's almost very like the, the, the ski ski. I'm going to say the exact style. same thing. It's almost like, you know, you're a professional skier at your chalet <laughs> in Switzerland or in Ireland, or in Aspen, even if you haven't been on skis, um, and you would go yeah, nowhere near. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite part of skiing. I grew up skiing, I could ski before I could walk. True story about Kirsten. Mm -hmm. um, I could actually ski before I could walk. However, Apres Ski, my favorite part. This color right here is leaf green. Mm -hmm. This one right here is natural. Our pale blue is the new color. And then we also have the violet. Not a whole lot of these to go around either. Talk to me about the inspiration behind this one. Sure. Um, so this is a, a, a great example, I think, of, of where we um, we use the, tr the traditional stitching to, to give a nice modern twist to a garment. And I think the scoop collar really is, uh, is, is a beautiful feature on and this. And it's a thick collar. Yeah, it's, it, and because it's the merino wool, this is something you can pull this right up to your face if there's a bit of a chill in the air and it's not going to irritate you no, in any no, way. No. Um, and, and the way that we did that is by using the, the, the structural features that the traditional iron stitches give us um, to allow you to, to actually, basically, if you look on here, the, these cablings and the, the honeycomb stitches that we have here, they give the structure that will actually keep the shawl collar upright. So um, it's, you're not going to have to worry about it, it lose, losing its structure. And because of the merino wool, it, uh, yeah, it stays it, up it, easily. It, it I mean, stays up anything. and also it, it'll, keep, it'll keep its structure and it'll keep its elasticity because uh, it's, such a, it's such an amenable fiber. I think it's very flattering as well. Uh, a woman's neck, I think, is a, just an absolutely gorgeous uh, thing to decorate, and I think it's very flattering. I think you're decorating it with the with the the Trinity toggle on it. It looks like a little piece of jewelry. It right does, there. doesn't it? As was this for St. Patrick's Day. It's, a, it's quite symbolic because the, the the symbol itself was actually based off the shamrock which St. Patrick used to teach uh, to spread uh, Christianity um, in Ireland. He said that each leaf represented God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And that's how he used to explain the Trinity to the to the, the native people when he when he was uh, doing his missions. Oh wow, that's wonderful. Uh, that right there, that color you're looking at is our beautiful light blue. The mm -hmm. violet is just heavenly. Great pockets on this too that have the stitching um, all along the sides. Usually we see a lot of the pockets that come from the top. Oh, this is nice. This is a, this is a, an easy access pocket for just keep, keeping your hands warm. Say if you were yeah. if you were if you were uh, watching a game or something like that on the sideline. Right. Some, Stick your hands in your pockets for a bit of a chill. Or apres skiing. Yeah. <laughs> or watching the skiers. <laughs> <laughs> and then it is just a kind of a generous fit and flow. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful in that way. And of course, having the, the, the ease of having the zip, it's so easy to take on and off. Right. Especially if it's going to be coming a little bit, a little bit warmer, you might want to cool down a little bit, just Leave zip, it, zip it up. And Small falls at 26 inches, the extra large would fall at 28 inches, and, and somewhere in between, we also have the extra, extra large, which add a half inch to that. And it's 100% merino wool, so you are getting just the softest, most luxurious feel against your skin, against your neck, against your face, wherever it might be. Uh, that color right there is our gorgeous leaf green. The price here, too, is a sales price. That means it's a nice break in the price, which you rarely, rarely see. Oh, look at the back. There's a lot of different stitches in the back as sure. well. Sure. So this, this is a good uh, catch-all for, uh, for all of our all of the, the, the traditional stitching that we do. Um, and of course, every individual style that we make for QVC is a unique combination of our own stitches. So no two styles will actually be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we want to go through some of this, you can see here that this is a, a trellis of, uh, of diamond stitches, which of course has always symbolized wealth and prosperity, and of course, they're a girl's best friend. Girl's best friend. Let me move down here to this, what we call a honeycomb stitch. The honeycomb stitch is supposed to represent the, the sweet rewards of, of the hard-working honeybee, so the, 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 the satisfaction of having a, a, a hard, hard job well done. Um, and then this is what we would call a, 
a shell stitch. You can see that each of them is like it's like one shell going into another, going into another. And these, this along with the two Celtic braids here, these are seen throughout Celtic mythology. In the tombs in Newgrange, which predate the pyramids, they're, they're, this, this is our, our own pyramids in Ireland, um, these were seen carved into the walls from, th I think it was over 5,000 years ago. Um, it can also be seen in the Book of Kells, which is one of the most famous illuminated manuscripts um, where uh, the Druids and the monks in Ireland, oh, no, sorry, not the Druids, the monks in Ireland, they uh, illuminated uh, their own uh, copies of the Bible and they did this very ornate um, design work in it and it was all taken from Celtic mythology. And it all, it, 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 uh, this is, um, it was a tribute to that, to that uh, style. It's amazing. I'm, how no, these were sketched first? Is that true? Sure, they were. They were. The, 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 the first they were ever seen was actually carved into stones, and then they were, the, as they were seen, they then start being sketched and being drawn, and then it, be, it kind of became part of the, part of the the life that you. Would, it, it shows up in many things. You can actually even see it on the the coins of Ireland. They actually have. This, uh, this, this type of Celtic uh, braiding is actually on the coins itself. And when the artists who work at Aaron Craft, when they're putting these together, um, they draw them out and then start doing it? They, they would do the, the, the full garment sketches out and then based on where, where which, the, which, what structural feature you'd like to have here, certain patterns work better to, to get certain effects that you want from the garment. So it's a, it's a combination of, uh, of style and, and uh, versatility. Just heavenly. They are just absolutely beautiful. The color you're seeing right there is the light blue. You see she has on with a beautiful lace skirt, so these can be dressed up or dressed down. The natural color you're seeing there, I believe in the back, uh, is our most popular color, also the leaf green, and I kind of just have to love the violet. The violet, which is what I have on, we'll see in a moment, is absolutely gorgeous as well. There's that natural color, which is stunning. And if you don't have a natural, gotta have a natural. color, you have to, because that's kind of, that is the go -to. just the iconic and that's the go-to. I've been meaning to ask you, mm -hmm. in Ireland, do you do they celebrate St. Patrick's Day like we do here? Uh, very much so. Actually, the, the, the very traditional St. Patrick's the, the, the idea of the parade and that was something that was actually brought to Ireland from America, um, but we've embraced it heartily and uh, it's, it's actually an official holiday. No, uh, the majority of people uh, don't work on St. Patrick's Day, oh, so, really? so it's, a, it's great to get the, a bit of freedom. And do they, day off to do, they do the gold coins? And, the, and my kids, for the very first time this year at five years old, are just so into St. Patrick's Day, which I don't remember them being before, mm -hmm. and they're always looking for clues where the gold coins are and things like that. Do they do, they do that? No, we've never, we've never done that. But, but it, it is something that um, I know from when we were in school. Um, every school, if you were if you were on a sports team, if you were in a, if you were in the if you're in the, the scouts or the girl guides or that, uh, every one of them would have a group place in the parade and uh, they would uh, march through the town. Basically, after you'd have your uh, your midday mass on St Patrick's Day, then the parade would start and would go the whole way through the town and there would just be a great celebration. It'd be That's wonderful. How fun. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely evening as we go now into St. Patrick's Day. Violet, kind of adore the violet, right? And then once again, you can see it goes all the way up. You've got that beautiful toggle up there. So you can do the fold over, but I think because it's such a special one and we don't have a lot that have this, I think it looks great. You can leave it open as well. It's zip. We don't find a whole lot of zip. Uh, in our assortment. I think, I think the beautiful thing is uh, when you actually have the zip closed, it's not immediately obvious that there's a zip there. So you, no. you're, 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 you don't, you can't see a very, a very bla uh, blatant kind of metallic zip going down. I think we, we've, uh, no, we've, hit, we've hidden it nicely piece. so you're not really interrupting the master pattern. And the pockets too, you just, you, they just scream to have your hands in them. They're just very, very comfortable and warm. Three easy payments of $33.83. It is on a sale price. However, it's the only day this month on Easy Pay. So after today, if we have any left, which we likely won't because we just don't have a lot of any of these sweaters and more than 500 spoken for in this one, that Easy Pay will go away if um, we have any left after today. Barry, thank you. He's going to stick around for another look at our today's special value here in just a moment. And we have a huge, I want to say it's three or four hour show coming up in about one minute with myself, Alberti, and Pat. Don't go anywhere, our St. Patrick's